Good evening, everybody. Pilot83 here. We are going to do a full flight today. This will be a full flight. Follow along if y'all want to to help show y'all some things and hopefully it'll make things a little bit easier as we fly this plane. We're going to do a startup. We're going to program the flight plan. We're going to taxi, take off, follow our route. We are going to auto land. I'm going to have all the information of what I'm doing, the flight plan, and all the information you need on the screen to make this as easy as possible for y'all guys. So feel free to follow along. If y'all like what we're doing here, guys, come join the Discord. It's in the description below. We're doing giveaways for the whole month of June. We are also doing our first group flight back on Saturday, which will be in single prop engines. So definitely be there for that if you like doing group flights. Also, I have an Insta as well that is Pilot0083, where I share just a lot of cool little you know clips and stuff and pictures. It's kind of more of a little personal spot for me. But uh, come check it out. Let's go ahead and get into doing this. All right. So real quick, a lot of people have asked, how did I get these eyebrow windows? I'm about to show you all how you do all of that. So let's go ahead, jump to overhead panel, turn the plane on, click your battery, shut that, go to your standby power, two notches to the left, Close that. Go to your FLC. Now, if you are also wondering how to get this right here, if y'all do not know, I will also show you that. So if you go to aircraft, equipment, starting next page, so to get the display, it's called the HGS display, go to page 12, you're going to click yes, that's how you get that. Now if you go to page 14, if you click yes on eyebrow windows, that's how we get those upper windows. You can also switch your cabin to a two class or single class, I ride with the two class. So just some cool little information for you. Now let's, let's carry on. FS actions, ground services, GPU cart. Let's go ahead and request. Okay, back to overhead panel. Turn your ground power on. Now turn on your window heats. Two on the left, two on the right. Okay, go ahead and move up to your IRS. You're gonna turn them to nav. It's gonna be two notches over. Once it's aligned, this will pop up and say aligned. Boom. And then you're set there. Okay, let's go back down to our FMC. Go to menu, FMC, hit position, in it. Okay, we can put our reference airport, which is Kilo. Oscar, Romeo, Foxtrot. Okay, not taking that. Okay, let's go to set IRS position. So you're going to click last position. You're going to get the number that appears down here. Then click right here where it says set IRS position. There we go. Now I'm going to go back to Kilo Oscar Romeo Foxtrot. There we go. Click Route. Origin. It's going to be the same thing. Kilo Oscar Romeo Foxtrot. All right. Destination. Our destination is going to be Kilo Bravo Whiskey India. Let's 
Okay, now go to departures and arrivals. We'll click on departure. All right. We have Kisser 3 as our SID, so we're going to take that. We're going to take off from runway 23. All right, click route, then hit next page. All right, now we're going to put in our flight plan. So we're going to start with our first waypoint, which is going to be HCM. Just click the top one. Okay. Then we're going to go to an airway. So you're going to put this in the left side. So this will be V33. This will go on this side because it's an airway. Then we have another waypoint, which is going to be Colin. And then after Colin, we got Paxed. Then after PAX, we have another airway. So Victor 93. And then we got a waypoint called Graco. Okay. Now, let's go back to departures and arrivals. Let's go to our arrival. We're going to be doing ILS on runway 28. Uh, it's going to be uh, MIDI 2.28, which is runway 28. Okay, and then click ILS 28. All right, from there, just go to click route again, activate, execute. Okay, now we're going to look at our flight plan. See if there's anything we need to fix. So we have a discontinuity here between our last waypoint and the beginning of our approach. So we're just going to click on MIDI, and then click in this empty box, then execute that. We might get a bypass. We did, so we have a bypass. There is a way we can fix this, but for this video, I want to show you all what happens when you have a bypass. So y'all get used to uh, seeing this and it doesn't freak you out. Okay, everything looks good. We're on my 28, and then we have our go around and our hold. That's all good. Now click in it reference. Click zero fuel weight. It's going to appear at the bottom. Click it again. Now we have that. Now we have our gross weight as well. Our reserves. It's going to be 11.2. Our cost index for this flight is 39. Okay, cruising altitude, it's going to be 18,000. You can do 18,000 or you can do FL180. This plane takes either or. Okay. Our Cruise winds are going to be 083. Slash. 02. Execute. Now that's active. Next page. We're not going to worry about this page. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, click in one limit. We're not going to worry about that. Now let's go to takeoff. Flaps are zero five. And this no destination path at the is because of the bypass I'm going to show you. So don't freak out about that. Center of gravity. Click this one time. Click it again. Now our speeds have already been uh, programmed for us. So we just need to put them in. Okay. So we got that good. So now, let's go up here to the MCP. Okay, we're going to go ahead and set the heading, which is going to be the direction of the runway we're taking. That's the wrong box. The direction of the runway we're taking off from, so it's going to be 230. Also, go set our course to that as well. I'm going to set this to my cruise altitude. Then I'm going to set the indicated airspeed to our V2 speed for our takeoff at 155. Turn on auto throttle. Arm both flight directors. Go ahead and set your barometer. We can just hit B. Okay. We're good there. Let's get back to turning this plane on. So now let's go to APU down to the start button. If it will cooperate with me. Hold it down to it clicks back. We're gonna turn on our aft and forward fuel pump on the left. We're going to wait for this light right here to turn blue. Go ahead and turn on your APU bleed. You're going to see this here moving. Just waiting for that, guys. That is on. So now we're going to click our APU gins left and right down. It can be a pain. Come on. Down. Down. There we go. Okay. Now go ahead and turn on the rest of your fuel. Turn on your two hydraulic pumps, A and B. Okay, now let's go ahead and get to starting the engines. Move engine start to ground let that charge up real quick while I'm here if y'all guys are wondering how to turn the screen on if y'all are starting with it already started you can go right here to this lower DU button and you can move it like this and this will uh, turn that on for you guys
All right, so once I hit 3.2, we're going to come down here, click that. Be sure you have your parking brake on too, guys. Mine was off. Be sure you have that on. Okay, so we're going to wait for the click from the switch from the uh, panel, overhead panel. Boom, that was the click. Go back up top. Do the same thing for the next engine. Alright, go ahead and hit engine one on. Okay. Back to your overhead panel. Go to gen one, turn it on, down, it's gotta go. Same thing on the right. There we go. Now we could take these back up. Turn your ground power off. Okay, I think I did the left one a little too early, so there we go. Now back up. Did it not click down? Oh, that's why it didn't click down. These switches are very finicky. Be careful with them, guys. Um, okay, so ground power's off. Go and turn off your APU bleed. Turn your left and right packs on. You're gonna set those to auto. Turn on your pilot heats. Okay, go back to your FMC. Go to menu. Go to FS actions. Go to ground services. Release ground power. Remove chalks. Okay. And I just click that again. It's just a shortcut to remove the stairwell outside. Okay, now let's go back to our overhead panel again. Y'all damper on. Emergency lights to armed. Go ahead and set your cabin, uh, your cabin altitude to your cruise altitude. So 18,000 feet. Okay, let's go back to the FMC real fast. Go to N1 limit. Go to takeoff. Trim is 5.12. So we're going to move this down. Our trim to 5.12 or close to it. Go ahead and set our flaps to five. All 
Alright, I like flying with all my lights on. I'm just gangster like that, I know. Taxi lights on. Okay, we got that going. Okay, guys, it is time for pushback. And actually, uh, we need to turn on our T-Cast. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, make sure air brake is good. Okay. Um, we would normally do this on the runway, but I'm going to do this here. So switch your auto brake to RTO. Uh, we're... Uh, Okay. Keep those strobes off. Okay. Well, we got the other lights on. Uh, we're good there. We're good there. Okay, guys. Let's do pushback. Oh, uh, where did my gear thing show that it's up? It's not supposed to be like that. Okay. Don't know when that happened. But anyway, okay. Um, real quick now, let's go to menu, guys. Go to FS Actions. Go to pushback. I'm going to do a standard L. Select your tug and start. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. So uh, ready to push. Tail to the left. Park brakes off. Released. All right, guys, let's go. Actually, here we go. The crew's coming out here to join me. The old team, some of the teammates, so they're going to be tagging along on this beautiful flight. Click stop. Remove our tug. Let's go back to legs. Let's go. We'll break the speed limit here. We need to move this all the way one more slot for the T-Cast. Okay, we're good there. Okay, let's go.
Okay, my flight director's went off too. Okay, that must have been one off pause, guys, off camera. That there's a velocity flight stick issue, not a plane issue. Velocity flight stick freaking moves your stuff when you go from unpause. It'll put your plane in a crash mode. So I really hope that Turtle Beach fixes that soon. I think that's the only thing it messed up was the gear in those. Landing and lights, we're going to get those ready. Look at that beautiful 737. He's off. Okay, we're aiming for 15 degrees, got our landing lights on, got that on RTO, we're good there, flaps down, we checked our air brake, let's go ahead and hit our toga button. Release parking brake.
Okay, guys, let's turn on autopilot. Turn on L nav. We're going to use this L nav for this. Increases to 50. Vertical speed. Must hit 1500. Okay, and we are off, guys. We're starting our climb to our cruise. Intercepting the route. So that we do an advance, we can go to our init reference guys. Right here we see our ILS frequency that we're going to be putting in. So we can go ahead and put that in. So we'll be putting that in right here. We'll put it in our standby. Go and do it on the other side as well. And we got to set our course. So that 10970, that's right here. If that was too far out. And then our course is 285. Stay at 250 or lower in speed until we hit 10,000. Keeping our landing lights on until we hit 10,000. What's up, Unstoppy? All right, guys. Now we're just going to sit back and relax on this short flight. Let the plane do its thing. We'll pick up speed once we get to 10,000 feet. We'll, we'll hit, we'll do 311.
we're in 10,000, we'll go ahead and pick up our speed. To 311. We got that Mindy, so we'll just clear that. All right, so we see our altitudes here, what we need to be at. So 18,000, 18,000, 18,000. And when we get to Paxed, we need to be at 60,681 feet. And guys, this is just an easy flight plan for y'all to do to help you. So I, I hope this helps. Uh, we're just doing LNAV on this one. Um, we'll do another one with VNAV and LNAV working together. Um, VNAV is pretty simple, but I don't want to do too much in one video. might have an escort. Both Unstoppy and Voodoo Ranger. We're not far from our top of climb. Go ahead and turn this off, RTO. And that freaks we put in, guys, uh, a few minutes ago, that's for our ILS. We'll make that active once we are on that uh, approach. Such a beautiful plane, guys.
Normally, guys, this is when I turn on a uh, movie on my laptop next to me and just chillax, eat snacks. Watch the sunset happen with the sunrise. This blue would be our go around and hold, our hold pattern if we had to do a go around. We've reached our altitude, hold 311, we're looking great. Some other stuff, uh, if y'all didn't know, this boom, you get the jump seat. Also, right here to manually lower the landing gear. So when we get to this, I'm going to show you all what happens once we get a little bit closer to it. Fuel light. There we go. I do love how this plane's fuel stays where it was at when you last flew it. And the fuel truck animation is amazing. But if y'all guys uh, are in the air and you forgot to refill it like I do a lot, you can come down to your menu. You can go to PMD, uh, actually it's FS Actions. Click on Fuel and you can set your fuel. And it'll set in the air for you. All right. So if y'all see these two stars, this is where a bypass is. See where this is broken up? Where the plane, uh, the plane ends. So that's what's going to happen when you have a bypass. So what it's going to do in this situation is it's going to go around this curve and then it's going to jump from here to our next waypoint and recorrect itself. All right, reaching the top of our descent. Going to drop down to 16 at 6.
So we need to be at 16.6 by the time we hit Paxed. And then we need to be at 11 once we get by the time we hit Louie. And then it continues down. Speed 283. We're gonna make it on field, I'm not worried about that. Okay, now we're going down to eleven one sixty. Let's do eleven one. All right, so here's a closer look, guys, of that bypass. This plane's going to come out here like this, and it's going to retake itself to the next waypoint, skipping Graco. It's going to head. It's going to head towards Mindy. Well, I'm sorry, Mindy is the break. It's going to skip Mindy and go head to Trots. Look, fuzzy nuts. So normally, guys, in this situation, we would find another waypoint to go to or get rid of this and just go direct. But I'm just going to show you what happens in this situation. So we're going to be skipping Mindy going to Graco to, then to Trots but we shouldn't have to do anything if we have to I'll show you what to do but we shouldn't have to Drive our speed at 240. 
dropping altitude down to to 800. By the way, guys, if y'all didn't know, behind your heading here is your bank angle. This is how steep your plane will turn. So we turn this all the way down. This, this plane will barely turn on autopilot. So I keep it on up here. But I keep it within, within the safe parameters so this plane doesn't go rolling itself over. Okay, let's watch with it, see what it does here. Okay, so head into trots, like I thought. You see, it automatically did that. Drop down three thousand. Coming up below 10,000, do want to turn our landing lights on. Go down here to our nav boxes. Let's so now make that ILS frequency we put in earlier active. See our flap speeds up here. All right, we're back on course. So that there, guys, was it performing the bypass. We see our auto land, magenta diamond here, our approach diamond, which currently signals below us because we are at 8,000 feet, just fine. We still haven't turned 
to the straightway yet. So a little air brake here because we're getting a little above 250 there. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start dropping our speed. 200 here. at five degrees of collapse. Get ready to, to capture. down approach clicked light slope now autopilot B as well GS so we clicked approach there as soon as we were lined up then we clicked autopilot 2 as soon as we saw the GS slowing down now to 160.
And there's a runaway just now appearing in front of us. Degrees of flaps. We're about to hit 40. All right, full flaps. Drop down to 140. Set our auto brakes to three. All right, we're gonna let it do its thing. We're not gonna do anything until the wheels touch the ground. Now, if we w were just wanting to do just a ILS, not an auto land, we would just have clicked approach and not the second autopilot. We would just have clicked approach when we would have got this and we would have done ILS and disconnected at minimums. That's the crew back there. Here she goes. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Thirty. See where it says flare? 20. Right there is flaring itself. down.
And there we go, guys. I hope that video was helpful for y'all. Let me know if that follow along was easy. Put your parking brakes on. As always, guys, I am Pilot83. Thank you guys so much for your continued love support of the channel. I will see y'all in my next video, guys. Good night. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time, guys, see you in the air.